Hello, everyone, and welcome to JapanSauce.net. Today, we will speak about five extremely special and unique Japanese swords the Tenkago Ken, or Five Best Swords Under Heaven. These five swords are considered to be in a class of their own. Three are national treasures of Japan, one is an imperial property, and one is a holy relic of Nichiren Buddhism. Though the exact origins of the term Tenkago Ken is unknown, everyone is familiar with their legends. The first sword we will speak of is the Onimaru, or Demon Sword. This sword was made by the swordsmith Awataguchi Kunitsuna. Legend says Hojo Tokimasa, head of the Hojo clan, was having dreams of being tortured by a demon. One night, an old man appeared in his dream, claiming to be the personification of the sword. The sword was rusty, and the old man promised Tokimasa that it would get rid of the demon if Tokimasa would clean the sword. Tokimasa quickly cleaned the sword. Then, the sword, moving and falling on its own, sliced the neck of a demon that was engraved on a pot. From that moment, Tokimasa no longer had bad dreams of the demon, and the sword received its name, Onimaru. The Demon Sword. Next, we have the Mikazuki Munechika, or Crescent Moon Sword. This is said to be the most beautiful of the Tenka Goken. The sword was made by the famous swordsmith Sanjo Munechika. When Munechika made this sword, crescent moon patterns appear on the hamon as a result of the tempering. It is a national treasure of Japan. And is housed in the Tokyo National Museum. Munechika also made another legendary sword, the Kogitsune Maru, but this is a story for another day. Now we will speak of the Odenta or Great Denta Sword. This sword was made by swordsmith Mike Denta Mitsuyo. Legend says that Maeda Toshie. One of the leading generals of Oda Nobunaga had a daughter named Go, who was always a sickly child. One day, prior to her marriage, she became very ill. Toyotomi Hideyoshi, owner of the Odenta, offered Toshi to borrow the sword to defend against the evil forces afflicting Go. Toshi accepted and placed the sword next to Go's bed, and Go's sickness. Went away. When Toshii attempted to return the sword to Hideyoshi, Go became sick once more. This pattern continued three times until Hideyoshi said that it would be best for Toshi to keep the sword, and he did. The next sword is the Juzumaru, or Rosary Sword. This sword was made by swordsmith Aoi. Tsunetsuga. It is said that Nichiren, a Japanese Buddhist priest, was presented with this sword for his protection. But Nichiren saw the sword as a symbol for the destroying of inequity and establishing righteousness. And so he hung a Buddhist rosary or juzu over the hilt. Thus, the name Juzumaru was born. And standing at the pinnacle of the Tenka Goken, Is the Doji Yiri, or Slayer of Shuten Doji. Many regard this sword as the Yokozuna of all Japanese swords. This sword was made by swordsmith Hokino Kuni Yasutsuna. Legend says that the demon king Shuten Doji had been terrorizing the area north of Kyoto, and the emperor requested the help of Minamoto no Yorimitsu, also known as. Minamoto no Raiko. Yorimitsu took his four generals, the so called Shiten no, and set out. The party was joined by another person, and all six of them climbed up the path disguised as Buddhist mountain disciples. During the climb, they came across three old men, who, as it turned out later, were actually disguised Shinto gods. The old men gave them three magic items a helmet, a rope, and a bottle of wine. 
When they reached the top of the mountain, Shuten Doji held a huge banquet for them. They were served meals of human flesh and blood. But they tried not to get exposed and ate the horrifying meals. At the end of the dinner, Yorimitsu offered Shuten Doji and his demons some of the wine they brought. Soon, Shuten Doji fell asleep and he was tied up. And Yorimitsu and his men started to kill the demons. When Shuten Doji was decapitated by Yorimitsu, his head flew through the air and tried one last time to bite Yorimitsu in the head. But the magic helmet withstood this demonic attack. And so the sword with which Yorimitsu killed the demon got its name Dojigiri, the slayer of Shuten Doji. And today, it is designated as a Japanese national treasure. I hope you enjoy learning about the Tenkago Ken, or Five Best Swords Under Heaven. If you want to learn more about these swords, or other Japanese history, culture, or all of the great things that are going on there, then please stop by our website, www.japansauce.net, and we'll see you next time.